Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Don't Talk Sports. My name is Don. In this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about Shohei Otani. If you guys have not heard the news, Shohei Otani, he had a contract he could have taken from the Los Angeles Angels or the Anaheim Angels, and he could have actually accepted the contract he decided to turn down. It was like $20 million, I believe. So Shohei Otani, he's going to be testing free agency. Now, could he sign back with the Angels? He could, but what we're going to be talking about in today's video is we're going to be looking at the odds, the betting odds of what team he could be going to. He could be going to the Dodgers, the Red Sox, the Yankees, the Mets. He could go back to the Angels. The Cubs are on there. We're going to discuss all of it. Now, before I go any further, as always, with these kind of videos, this is my opinion on kind of what I think is going to happen. If you have a different opinion, leave it in the comments. But we're going to get right into this. So, as always, if you're going to enjoy today's video, make sure you drop a like. And without further ado, let's get into it. Now, first up, I kind of want to talk about just him as a player in general. Because people are going to look at this and they're going to be like, why are people freaking out? Because I've actually seen a couple of reports of people on social media saying, like, I don't really understand why people are freaking out over it. I want to just take a second and just kind of explain to you guys. Look at the man's stats of how good he is. 10th in batting average, 4th in home runs. Top, he's up in the top 30 for RBIs, but here's the thing. He doesn't hit as much as a regular player does, like an Aaron Judge, a Mookie Betts, etc. For those of you who do not know, the way Shohei Otani plays is he also pitches. He pitches, obviously, like every five games. So he's going to pitch probably about 30 games out of the year, maybe a few more, maybe a few less. But the rest of the time, he's just a designated hitter, meaning there's about probably like anywhere from 25 to 35 games where he's not hitting, meaning he's leaving stats out there that he could have had if he was just a pure hitter. But with him being such a unique talent, a unicorn to, per se, he can also pitch. I mean, hell, just look at last season, this season that we just had. He played 135 games. Uh, 497 at bats, 102 runs, 151 hits, 26 doubles, 8 triples, 44 home runs, like I said, 95 RBIs, he had 91 walks, the the dude is bananas, 304 batting average like we said, he's got a 654 slugging percentage, that is out of his world, and his OPS is over 1000, mind blown, the fact that his on base percentage is a 366 in his career, and 274 batting average, the dude is, like I said, a unicorn and now like i said he can also pitch so let's look at some of his pitching stats uh let's see here uh let's look at his 2023 shall we 169 or 167 strikeouts he's only walked 55 hitters he's got a 3.14 era that for some of you that do not know is actually pretty pretty good a really good era like and i'm talking about like really 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 good would be just barely getting under two staying in like the mid twos is already like elite being up around three when he's already trying to focus on hitting, now he's pitching as well. When you're doing both, having a 3.14 ERA and then close to a three uh, uh, batting average, that is nuts. So now that you understand why he is so talented, let's look at some of the betting odds. These are the betting odds right here. I got them off of New York Post. Um, if you want to check this out, I'll put it in the description down below. But it says here right now they got the Dodgers at number one for the best betting odd team that he could go to. I understand it because he played the Los Angeles Angels. He probably likes the LA area. He likes the, the team, like the area that they're in. So Dodgers would make sense. Now, before I go any further, I'm going to kind of go down this list and just give you a yes or a no on if I think it is a reasonable spot for him to go to based off this criteria. Number one, are they going to be winning a championship within the next five years? Number two, do they have the money? And number three, this is a kind of a less important criteria, but I guess it could play into factor of what he wants. Is it a good area for him to live in? So number one, we got the Dodgers. They are they already are going to be probably winning another title in the next five years. They obviously have the money, and it's a great area. That would be a yes. The Cubs came out of nowhere here recently, but when it comes to them winning a title in the next five years, I'm going to be honest, they got a shot, so yes on number one. Do they have the money? I've heard that the owner is going to be diving into some his pockets here in this offseason, possibly trying to go sign some good free agents. Maybe. So there's number two. But when it comes to good area, I don't I don't know about that one. Next up, we get the Giants. Uh, yes on the good area, obviously. Winning a title, I don't really see happening. And the money, I don't think they have the money right now. Mets and Yankees, I think, are both good. Good areas. Uh, the media market, obviously. Media capital of the world. Good money. Titles are possible. Mets, not so much. Yankees, they're always trying to go for a title. So I think those two teams would work out. Rangers, obviously, just want a title. They have the money, I believe and good area i think yes when it comes to the red sox the mariners uh teams like the blue jays not so much i'm gonna go and just say no i'm not really gonna explain why the phillies are an underdog pick i think could possibly sneak in for the sweepstakes i don't really see it happening though because with how much money they have spending on bryce harper schwarber 
uh, all these different players they have on their roster, it's going to be tough to be able to go out and sign a Shohei Otani, especially with the fact that he's going to be wanting probably 40 to 50, 60 million dollars. And then when it comes to the field, I, I don't really think there's another team other than the teams you see here that he would sign with. I mean, if you wanted to take your chances, if you're a, a better, don't take advice from me. But if you wanted to drop $100 on the field, hey, plus 2000 don't look too bad. But if I came, if it came to my money and I was having to put money on it, I would probably be betting either Dodgers, Cubs, Yankees, maybe Rangers. I don't think I would go with the Angels. I think the fact that he's pretty much already turned down that contract that the Angels offered him says that he's just done with them. And something I kind of want to point out with the Angels is the fact of how they've wasted so much elite talent over these past like 10 years. I mean, you had Mike Trout there for this past decade. You've now had Shohei Otani there for the past like five or six years. And throughout that entire time, you've had a total of five combined MVP awards. How many playoff wins do you have to show for it? That's right, none. Two more things I kind of want to discuss. Number one, like I said with the contract, it's going to be upwards of like 40 to 50, 60 million dollars. I already made a video a while back on kind of talking about what his contract could look like, possibly up around, up around $700 million. I'll put an annotation there if you want to go watch that video. The tricky thing now that's going to possibly deter some MLB teams away from signing him right now and it's going to possibly open up the sweepstakes for some other smaller teams maybe to try to sneak into the sweepstakes it's going to be the fact that he is currently injured he i think is getting surgery on his elbow so he said this offseason he's not going to be able to either pitch for an entire season but he can hit and then next season he's going to be able to start pitching again which i don't really think makes sense how is it that you can't pitch but you can hit what happens if you're hitting and you get hit in the elbow the ball comes in and hits you in the elbow you re-injure the elbow so that doesn't really make sense when that injury happened Everybody thought in their mind, like, oh my God, what's happening? Maybe he'll just be out this entire season. He'll come back next season. But when the news was revealed that he's going to be getting the surgery and that he's going to be able to come back and at least still hit, but not pitch, everybody's kind of scratching their head. Like, how does that make sense? I'm going to kind of wrap it up with this. If any of you that are beggars are begging for your franchise to sign Shoei Otani, what you need to look at is look at your team's free agency. Look at if they're even signing anybody in the very beginning. If your team is going out there and already signing, like, a player two players three players you're already out something else you could look at look at the news with your team is your owner talking to his gm or his scouts and saying i'm gonna give you guys some more money this offseason if they are that means he might their your owner might be in the sweepstakes but like i said i'm gonna wrap it up here the best thing that i can pretty much see coming out of shoyo tani for a team him going to i already said it it's gonna be either gonna be the dodgers the yankees maybe the mets and maybe you could see the padres sneak into it i know i didn't really say anything about them but maybe the Padres or the Giants. It's going to be probably either a West Coast team or a New York team. The Cubs are a long shot, in my opinion. I know they're the second best odds. I don't know where the hell that came from. If he goes to the Cubs, I will be flabbergasted. But that remains to be seen. But other than that, that's all i got to discuss for today's video. Hopefully, you guys did go to enjoy today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you do drop a like. I very much appreciate if you do so. If you wanted to watch the entire today's video and you had a different opinion on where you think Shohei Otani is going to go. If you think it's going to be, like I said, Dodgers, Cubs, Yankees, Mets, whoever you think he's going to sign to. Maybe you think he's going to sign to your favorite team. Uh, if you think he's going to sign to, hell, I don't know, the Marlins, the Reds, uh, the Tigers. If you think he's going to sign anywhere else, let me know down in the comment section down below. I'll be more than welcome to talk about it with you guys. If you're a fan of the content that I'm posting here and you enjoy sports news, updates, uh, anything, MLB, NBA, NFL, anything like that, and you want to go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button, feel free to do so. And do not forget to hit that little notification bell to be notified the second I post. But without further ado, this has been Don't Talk Sports. Have a great day. Peace.